The good news is that if people are clicking on your ads and they're booking appointments, you're almost there. Now we need to get people to show up and go over the sales call, right? So we're gonna break down what that looks like in this video. All right, there is a journey that people take by the time they see your ad over here to the time they actually purchase from you, especially if it's high ticket, right? Like they go, they become a lead on the landing page, they schedule a call, you confirm the call, and then you actually have the video call. So with specifically with this video, I wanna break down what needs to happen. What are those fixes that need to be made on this page, on the text and the email reminders, as well as on the thank you page that will help people show up so you're not wasting time, you're not wasting money, and you can help more people. So the way that looks is a couple things. One, on the book a call page, there's several things you need, to, you need to have. One, nobody wants to book a sales call, right? So you need to give specifically what are benefits? What are the outcomes that somebody will get from that call? So you give them the benefits. Maybe they're gonna get a clear outcome. They're gonna get a plan. They're gonna get a specific strategy. Like give them something concrete that they'll get from that. And then give them some times to book a call. Like I wouldn't have anything more than two weeks out to book. So limit it to two weeks. If you want an actual example, we have one, like we have a discovery call, but we'll actually build out a strategy for a client, right? So we'll review your, we'll review your industry your audience, um, we'll look at your current marketing and sales efforts, we'll uh, see what's restricting your growth, and we'll create a marketing plan that will get you results. Like those are, that's the outcome that will happen when somebody books a strategy call and like people can book, you know, certain times out. So again, have on the page that people will actually schedule a call with you, what are the benefits of that call, and give them a calendar, and don't have it go more than two weeks. The other thing you should have on this page are some testimonials. Have some videos of what results people have gotten from working with you. Cause really that just reinforces the message that somebody, that you're legit, that you know what you're talking about and that you're somebody who can get results. And so again, if you've gotten those results, share that, share those videos, share those testimonials on the actual confirmation page and that will help increase that conversion rate. The next thing that has to happen is uh, after you book a call, now you need to confirm that call. And a couple things need to happen on that. One, you need to confirm the meeting. Say, hey, we've got you confirmed in our calendar. Do you need to know like, you need to know their name, the date, and any notes about the meeting. Uh, that should show up on the actual page and there needs to be a calendar invite sent out, right? So that they get that through their email. Um, and then I like to have a video, hey, while we wait or um, before our call, make sure you watch these videos or have them watch some other videos of what's possible that's related to the service that you offer. That way people can get to learn more about your process, they can get to learn more about you and you can just have a deeper, more connected conversation uh, about your business on that actual phone call. So some examples is on our page, we say, hey, thank you. On our call together, we'll create a marketing plan to grow your business. Um, here are three quick steps to prepare for a call. One, watch this video, right? We haven't watched the video. Add it to your calendar and then watch some of these videos below and see what's possible. Like we have, we share some other uh, client testimonials below. Um, we also try to incentivize people to schedule a call by saying, hey, we'll give you some of our tools for free. So like, again, we offer like our ROAS calculator, our framework, like if they show up to that call and ask for it, we'll, we'll give them those resources. So that can be an incentive to show up for that call. So on that, again, this thank you page is important because one, give them steps what they need to be successful. Make sure that there's a calendar invite sent out and that they're like, they have some, some information as far as what they need to get started. Okay, so at this point, somebody's watched your video, they become a lead, they scheduled a call with you, you've confirmed that call and you're almost there. You're, they've almost showed up, but there's still a couple of things left to do is one, 
you need to have a calendar invite that's set up on their calendar and your calendar. Like we use Google Calendar, but some people use Microsoft. So make sure a Google Calendar gets sent out not only for your calendar, but theirs as well. Two, I would send out a text, hey, and confirm that call. We've got you scheduled for our call at this time. We're confirming that. Thank you. We're looking forward to talking with you, right? So there's a, there's a text confirmation. And there's also an email confirmation, right? So what those look like, what like here's a template of an email confirmation. Hey name, thank you for scheduling this consultation with this company. We're looking forward to discussing whatever it is that you do with them. Here's the date, the time and who you're talking with. Um, here's what to expect, right? Like you can honestly just copy and paste this confirmation email and send that to them after somebody schedules a call and then not only that, but there's two reminders. People need a reminder 24 hours before the appointment and an hour before the appointment. And just by implementing these reminders, it's going to drastically increase your show rate. So again, uh, not only an email reminder, but a text email, a, a text as well. So again, for text, here are some examples. Confirmation. Hey name, your, cons your consultation with this company is confirmed for this date time. Check your email for details. Reply yes to confirm or no to reschedule. We're looking forward to speaking with you. What's nice is like if I'm getting on the calls, I can go to the whoever scheduled the, the appointment and I can see if they've confirmed, if they've replied yes or no. And if I see the yes, I know that they're like, they're real, they're engaging and we're going to like, they're going to show up at the call. Right? So you have those text emails that go out and you feel free to copy and paste these templates. And you also have these reminder emails. Hey, your call with this company name tomorrow, like have those emails go out. Here's another, like a one hour uh, reminder. Your consultation with company names coming up in an hour. We're ready to dive into blank, blank, and blank. Here's a link to join the call. We're looking forward to speaking with you. So again, these are some really simple things that you can implement if you can improve the outcome of what somebody will get on the call when they actually book a call with you. Uh, make sure that you confirm that call on the next page, give them what they can expect, have them watch some resources and, and you have a calendar invite sent out. And then two, confirm the calls through email and text and have those reminders set up. That's gonna go from like a 50% show rate to like a 90% show rate. And it's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of trouble, and it will just make your marketing a lot more efficient. And you're gonna have a lot more conversations. You're gonna clock your, you'll enroll more people into your program. So implement that. If you have any questions, reach out. I'm curious, so what has been helpful for you? Like what's been your biggest takeaway? Drop a comment below. I'm curious what's been helpful or what's been help, what's helped you improve your show rate. So drop that comment. On the next video, we're going to talk about the real cost of advertising on YouTube.